needs to fix it. Thank you, Member for Franklin, and call the Member for Ryan. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I rise to speak about the spectacular summer of tennis that we have just experienced. It has been a season like no other, with international stars of the court bringing breathtaking matches to the screens of millions of Australians and around the world. The Federer and Nadal Grand Slam final at the Australian Open last week demonstrated the sheer talent, dedication and persistence of our tennis sporting superstars. Congratulations to Steve Healy, Craig Tarley and all the Tennis Australia team who make Australia's tennis events the most popular of players on the tennis circuit. Close to 100,000 spectators enjoyed the sights and sounds of the Brisbane International for eight days at the beginning of January at the Queensland Tennis Centre at Tennyson. With 334 aces served during the tournament and 12 kilometres of string used for nearly strung rackets, the Brisbane International was a resounding success. Once again, we are honoured to have two Australian tennis greats, Roy Emerson and Yvonne Goolagong Corley, present the eponymous trophies to the men's and women's singles champions. On the 18th of January, I was privileged to join Ken and Barbara Laffey for the unveiling of the Roy Emerson statue in Blackbutt. This life-size bronze of the tennis legend pays homage to his 12 Grand Slam wins from this small regional Queensland town. As a right-hander, Roy was known for his exceptional level of fitness that saw him ready for even the most strenuous match on the hottest of days. The statue was the result of wonderful community effort over several years. Deserved congratulations to Hazel and everyone involved for a great community event and lasting reminder. Tennis is no longer the sport of yesteryear when white attire and gut string rackets could be seen on private courts across Australia. Today, tennis is engaging with those from all walks of life. And on that note, I must mention the ever successful Hot Shots program. Launched in 2008, it is designed to help every child, no matter their age or ability, to start playing tennis. Children learn to play on the right size court using rackets that are perfect for small hands and balls that do not bounce too high. Hotshot encourages fitness, socialising and all-round entertainment. And what better sport to do this with than tennis? More than 500,000 children have experienced the program in the past 12 months alone. Which brings me to the perfect time to congratulate two of my schools who showed amazing talent in the Brisbane International Interschools Tennis Championships. Brookfield State School, coached by Rowan and John Lemon Ward, won the Orange and Red Ball events, and Jason Carriage and the team from Fig Tree Pocket State School had a fantastic run, finishing fifth place in the Green Ball competition. It is wonderful to see the growing profile of tennis throughout the whole of Queensland, including my electorate of Ryan. No matter where you are in the world or what language you speak, pick up a tennis racket and you are bound to meet friends who share your common bond. And congratulations to Leighton Hewitt and the Davis Cup team on their recent win. And Madam Speaker, as they say, in tennis, game, set and match. Thank you. Thank you.